The year is 2080, and things, they've never been better for the Detroit muscle. Yes, 35 and 22, first in the Eastern Conference. Welcome back, everybody. This is Muscle on Siege, the Detroit muscle rebuild. Um, obviously, before we talk about anything else, let's just take a moment to appreciate our wonderful players over here. Deshaun Whitworth and Hugh Patterson are two all-stars this year that have really made this all come together. Um, if we look down here to this bottom right corner, we see Malachi O'Connor. Um, great kid. Only person here who's substantially been, er, uh, consistently been progging up and progging well. He's been having amazing, amazing work in the training camp. Um, we go look at him here. He made a game-winning three-pointer at the buzzer. That's just, just great for him. Um, he's expiring this offseason, though, so we're going to have to whip out the wallet to pay him a little bit. And without further ado... Let's get started here. Um, first things first, we're going to go ahead and sim a week. Just get a feel for how we're feeling after the All-Star break. Uh, Whitworth with a six-game injury here. Oh, four-game losing streak. Terrible, terrible. At least we have Whitworth back from injury, as we can see here. So that won't be a problem. We've unfortunately fallen to just the third seed in the conference. We keep going here. Who knows, maybe we can, hopefully we can string together a good stretch of wins and get back to that first seed. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Uh, we're going to have to stick out. It's the, just the third seed. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Falling two seeds after the All-Star break. Obviously, um... We're not playing any of the guys that come out of this play in tourney, at least not right now. But we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and give them the, we'll go ahead and give them the honor of showing their games anyway. Uh, we look at here, San Francisco, San Diego, the pandas keeping their season alive. That's always nice. Uh, Tampa Bay makes it into the playoffs. That's always good for them. Um, Terrible, terrible, uh, terrible, terrible things when we have seen him last year. Oh, and look here. Oh, we're rooting for San Diego in there. They are. They show up. Uh, sorry to all our Knicks fans. Uh, the Bankers weren't able to pull it off this year. Uh, who knows? Maybe may, may in, uh, maybe you'll be able to win a championship by 2100. Uh, we go ahead in here and we sim one game. We lose the first game to Cincinnati. Oh no. Go ahead and sim another game here. We're down 2-0 against Cincinnati. Oh, things are looking rough. We, okay, okay, okay. We managed to take one game. We managed to take game three and we're back into this. This might be a difficult matchup, but we can make it out. I believe in the boys, you believe in the boys, but the boys don't believe in themselves. Oh, we're down 3-1. This is an elimination game, and you know that we're going to watch it live. We might go out, but we're going to go out down, uh, we're going to go out together. We have a minus 29 spread. Huh. That's, uh, that's interesting. We're going to go ahead and see how we're doing at the end of the quarter. Uh, down by two. At the half, we're up by seven. Go ahead and sim. We're up by a lot going into the fourth. Do the last two minutes. It's all but a... It's all but a pleasantry now. Um, yeah, this game's over. We look at... We're up by a solid 14... It doesn't look like they're going to make a late run. Um, for anyone interested in what website we're using, we're of course using the best basketball simulator on the market, Basketball GM. Free to play, by the way. So, if you're into basketball, I suggest you go check it out. You'll probably find something you like on here, and if you don't, well, 
What did you lose, really? A few minutes of your life? Go ahead and sim another game. Uh, so that we can get to our next live performance. We're going into game... Yeah, we're going into game six here now. Go ahead and sim to the end of the quarter. We're up by one. End of the half. We're up by a lot more than one. Um, still up by a solid 11 going into the fourth. Into the last two minutes. It looks like we're going to win by, uh, by double digits here. Go ahead and speed up our sim. Doesn't look like they're planning on making a late game comeback. Yeah. Um, a solid 10 point victory. We'll take that. And now, after an incredible, incredible stretch of games, our boys could pull off the 3 1 upset. We're in game 7. Come on, boys. Actually, was it a 3 1? No, because we won the third one. Okay, okay. So it was only 2 0. It was only 2. Wait, no, it was a 3 1. Yeah, it was 3 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our boys could pull off the 3-1 upset here. Incredible stretch of games. We're going to have to see if we can make it happen. Can 3-1 upsets happen outside of Doc Rivers? Let's see. Oh. Um, after the first couple of quarters, it's not, it's not looking like it can. Um. Go ahead and look here. Um, 57 to 59 with seven and a half minutes remaining. I want to go ahead and sim some more. Hold up. 62. Oh, 64 to 66 with three minutes left. Whew, this is a close game, I believe. I believe that we can get this done. Daryl May with the block. Kelton Reed with the rebound. Uh... Non-shooting foul on Hayden McMillan. Cole Durkin takes a three. It's good. That gives us the lead. Great job, boys. Great job. Come on. Uh, Will Vincent for three. Good. He misses it. He misses it. That's great for us. Oh, they get the rebound. Come on, boys. You got to box out better than that. Um, Papa Fall is in the game for Hugh Patterson. Hugh pa No, Hugh Patterson came in for Papa Fall. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Will Vinson makes some free throws. Sean Whitworth at the rim, but the layup rolls out. Unfortunate, unfortunate stuff here, but we have just two minutes remaining and we're down by three. Daryl May, he wants to cut that to zero, and it's good! Daryl May with the shot of a lifetime. Magic May making things happen. Uh... Hugh Patterson attempts another three-pointer, and we take the lead to 73-70. to Will Vincent tries to strike right back, and he does. It's a tie game with a minute 20 left. Uh, we give it to Deshaun Whitworth. Come on, Deshaun. You're our star player. You got to step up in these big moments. But May, Magic May, gets the board, and he gives it off to Patterson. Patterson draws the foul. Come on. Come on, Hugh Patterson. Come on. We believe in you. There's set. It looks like their center is fouled out. That's great for us. Hugh Patterson makes one. That gives us the lead. He makes two. Come on. Great work, boys. Great work. Will Vincent attempts a mid-range shot. Ah, that ties up the game again. Come on, boys. Whitworth with another chance here. And he makes the layup. That's great work. Great work right there. Will Vincent attempts a three. It rolls out. It's a brick. Man looking like Danny, Danny Green in 2020. Whitworth grabs the board. He takes his own three-pointer. It's no good. Whitworth, you're missing some big shots here. Uh, Vincent again trying to tie up the game. He bricks it again. Cole Durkin grabs the rebound. Uh, Non-shooting foul on Vincent. So we get some free throws here. Whitworth, he makes the first. That gives He makes the second. Okay, we have a two-possession lead with nine seconds left. We can do this. 
Uh, good foul by Kelton. Uh, Mar uh, Thaddeus Marin takes a three. He misses. It looks like we're going to win. Hugh Patterson grabs the board. Yada, yada, yada. There's uh, Hayen McMillan subs or fouls out. Uh, we make one free throw for Daryl May. Make two. Great work, boys. A 3-1 comeback. In the first round, mind you. Absolutely incredible work from the boys. Um, we go see, is there anything else worth watching? Uh, Montreal versus Tampa in a Game 7. The second and seventh seeds. I say that that's a game worth watching. But only if it's not a blowout. Because uh, we don't watch blowouts here. Nope. Hey. End of quarter. End of half. I shall just go last two minutes. Hard five to hard nine. I'll watch that game. What do you have for me, Tampa? You've been the underdog this entire series. Can you finally manage to... Pull ahead when it matters most? Apparently not. They get dunked on. By J.J. Robinson. Nope, J.J. Robinson gets dunked on. Wow. But they make a they make a mid-range mid range shot. Uh, Mike Warren mixes a uh, mid-range shot on the other end. But they get the board, so... Bob Ross? Hold on. Bob Ross is in the game? Bob Ross. There's no way... Oh, right, 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 we gotta stay here. More important than anything else, legendary painter Bob Ross is making things count for the Montreal Beavers with 10 points on the game. Six boards. Uh, he's doing the things uh, with two steals. He's certainly been a valuable piece. A valuable, valuable piece for this Montreal team as they take a five-point lead. Six point lead. Tampa's doing the things, but they just aren't working. The pieces are not clicking together for Tampa as Montreal rains home another shot. This game is over. 119 to 107. Montreal wins the contest. Unfortunate for Tampa fans. They were hoping that in a clutch game seven here they could have made something happen, but it just falls right through. Uh, we move on to our own series here. We take a 1 0 lead over Montreal. That's always lovely to see. 2 0 lead over Montreal. 120 and 96, 116 to 107. Blowout wins. That's what we love to see. 3-0 lead. They're not coming back now. 4-0 we. 4-0 sweep. Sweep. Bye-bye, Montreal. We don't care about the rest of you, unfortunately. Uh, solid game 7 from Dallas and Sacramento. And so the Detroit Muscle have reached the conference finals for the first time in their history. Truly, truly an amazing show that we're seeing here today. And the first game, it goes to Atlanta. The second game, also in Atlanta, goes to Atlanta. But now they're going on to Detroit. Can they make something happen? No. A 3-0, a 3 down 3-0 in the series. We're going to go ahead and watch this one live. Because our boys might go down. But we're going to be there alongside them. Go ahead. End of quarter. End of half. Uh, to the fourth. This is... This is a good game. Hold on. Go ahead and sim a few more minutes. Uh, we've got six minutes remaining. We're going to go ahead and go to the last two minutes. It's 109 to 103, Detroit leading with two minutes on the clock. Hugh Patterson misses a layup. Can't miss those. 
cannot miss those, Hugh. You were an all-star this season. You're a big reason why this team has gone so far. But you can't miss those. Come on, boys. Come on. We're not getting swept today. We are not getting swept today. We believe. We believe. We can do this. We can do this. Not much changes as we hold our 109 to 103 lead with about a minute and a half left in the game. Hugh Patterson, no! Hugh Patterson, our star center or our star power forward has sub, um, fouled out of the game. At least it's Malachi O'Connor coming in. We know we can trust him. Ken Norris makes some free throws. Things are not looking good for us. Whitworth misses a shot, but Kelton Reed grabs the offensive board. Great work, Kelton. That's exactly what we needed. Ah, you miss a low post shot. Things are not looking good for us right now. That's for that's for sure. Malakoy O'Connor grabs the defensive rebound. Kelton Reed for with another shot at the rim. If the layup rolls out, come on, Kelton. We need those. We need those. Uh, Chris Foster elevates for a shot at the rim. No! Daryl May! Daryl May. He fouls. Uh, but, but they miss one. Chris Foster misses a clutch free throw. And Daryl May gets the board. They foul him. Or they fouled Deshaun. Whitworth makes one, he makes two. This team, they are not getting swept today. Only a few seconds left in the game. Nothing's really going to happen here. It's just going to continue to be a foul contest. Um, I trust that Whitworth will continue to make at least one. But no! Deshaun Whitworth misses a clutch free throw, but he gets the board. It was all part of the plan. Malachi O'Connor this time, but he misses one. He makes one too, so it, in the end, we still got our two points. Daryl May unfortunately fouls out, but with only a few seconds in the, left in the game and subbing in Taron Wright, you can't think it's going to matter that much. And they miss a free throw just to ice the cake. But they get the board. They attempt a three-pointer. He bricks it. Of course he bricks it. Okay, Atlanta. Atlanta. Like, it, it's over, Atlanta. Atlanta, it's over. We're done here. We're done here, Atlanta. Yeah, I'm just going to go, go ahead. and Because nobody wants to just see the end of game message. Hey, look, we managed to take our one win. Dallas might be slept, but we will not be. At the very least, we will get our one win today. And that's enough for me. Making the conference finals for the first time in our history. I'd say that's just about worth it. Winning a game is just the icing on the cake. We're up at the half. We might have a little more icing on this cake. Up. We're down 87 to 90. Ah, uh, I sim. I sim too fast. We're down to the last three seconds. That's entirely on me. 97 to 89. A game that looked like it could have been ours, but it's just not going to be. Dallas, unfortunately, also manages to escape the sweep, but they also take another game, so uh, they take them to a game seven. They, they lose anyway. Um, and for the second time in this series, the St. Louis Spirits are the, are the league champions. Jeez. We go look, uh, only notable award, Hugh Patterson was... All league third team and all defensive second team. I don't think we have anything else here. Yep. Dylan Black. Unfortunately, we had to trade him away earlier this year. 
um, due to unfor unfortunate circumstances surrounding uh, a need to win, but we're not particularly missing him. Now we can go ahead and read a message from our owner so he can tell us how bad we're doing. He actually thinks we're doing pretty well, so good for us. Good for us. Owner's happy. All the fans are happy, but we just... We need to put it together on the biggest stage, and we haven't yet. But it's okay, because this is a young team. And while we don't have any lottery picks this year, in fact, we only our only pick that isn't ours is a second from Atlanta, who was really good, obviously. Um, they were the one seed in our conference and beat us in the conference finals, which was unfortunate. But... Things might be rough, and maybe, just maybe, things won't be great uh, for a few years. I don't really know what kind of relling speech I'm trying to give us, but we saw Kelton Reed at least try to make some plays. Look at him, he's smiling. That's something we need to do a lot more as fans. We need to smile more because we trust that somehow, some way, we'll find a way. We need to trust the process like they do, and maybe, just maybe, it'll lead us to the promised land. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you'd like to continue seeing this series, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz to keep me making more of these videos. And if you don't, then, uh, I don't know, leave? <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Muscle on Siege.